Okay, so good day to all of you. So, for this video, I'm going to teach you how to compute the speed up of a computer system so by using an Amdahl's law. So, Amdahl's law, it has something to do with the how many times can a computer system speed up depending upon if you're going to add a number of cores or um, what is the ratio of parallel uh, in relation to serial operations. So, for this example, so we have using Amdahl's law, calculate the speed gain. So, we have 67% parallel with letter A, 2 processing cores, and letter B, 4 processing cores. So, let's start our um, solving for this example. So, we're going to use, or rather, uh, A and B. So, A again is for 2 processing cores and B, um, for processing cores. So, for letter A, so, again, let's remember the um, formula for uh, Amdahl's law. So, we have speed up. Speed up is less than or equal to 1 over S plus 1 minus S over n. So, this is the formula for the Amdahl's law. Okay, so for the first problem is we have uh, um, the given here. Again, let's return here. So, let's return to the problem. So, we have 67% parallel. So, we have this um, given. So, let's assume um, P for parallel is equal to 67% or you can write it as 0 0.67. Okay, but for the formula, as we can see, we have S. So, S means serial. Actually, with, uh, by means of the problem, you don't know the value, but we can derive the value of, uh, of the uh, series operation by, okay, so we have already given... P for parallel operation. So, let's return again with the problem. So, since 67% is parallel, so what does this mean? So, what if um, um, in an illustration to further understand how to derive the series operations. So, for example, we have a hole. For example, a circle. And then, we have 67%. For example, this is 67%. So, this 67% is parts of a whole. So, what do you think will be the value of this part? So, this is P and then this is S. So, what will be the value of S here? So, we have 100 minus 67. So, we have 33%. So, our S here now is we have 33% or equivalent to 0.33. So, we already derived the value of S here. So, by using the formula, so we have 1 over, so S is, um, you're going to use these values, not the percent. So, we have 0 0.33 and then Plus, okay, we have 1 minus S. So, we have already um, 1 minus S. So, we have 1 minus 0 0.33. But actually, this is the P. The 1 minus S. So, 1 minus S actually is P. As illustration with the, um, with the pi. With the pi, a pi graph actually with a 67% and then the remaining is 33. So, this is we have... Um, 0 0.67. Okay, for the first, uh, for letter A, so we have N. So our, so our N is what? We have two processing cores. So divided by two. And then next is we have, okay, we have one over 
0 0.33 plus so 0 0.67 divided by 2 is equivalent to 0 0.335 and then 1 uh, 1 over let's add 0 0.665 so okay so we have 0 0.665 so our speed up okay the speed up will be so 1 over or 1 divided by 0 0.665 is less than or equivalent to 1.5 times. Okay, so it means that for letter A, it means that if we're going to add two cores in the system, so we're going to add pro processing cores to the system, so the operations will achieve a 1.5 um, improvement on speed so that's the meaning maximum so that's why it's less than or equal to 1.5 times so that is the me that is the meaning of an amdal's law so but then again it also depends upon with the um, how many percent or how big is the parallel operations compared to serial operations so let's go with another example so we have letter b so for our letter b we have, okay, letter B is we have how many processing cores? So, we have, so just the same um, given. So, P is equal to 0 0.67. So, that is one, of, uh, 1 minus S. And then S is we have 0 0.33. And then our core for, processing core for letter B is number we have four processing cores. So, again, let's use the formula of Amdahl's law. So, is equal to 1 over, so S is 0 0.33 plus, and 1 minus S again is we have 0 0.67. So, for our um, second example is we have our N is 4. And then next is we have 1 over 0 0.33 plus 0. So, 0 0.67 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.1675. And then, let's add the values. 1 over 0 0.4975. And then 1 divided by 0 0.4975 is equal to, so the speed up, maximum speed up, would be up to 2.10 times. So, from our first example, we have 2. So, if our, um, if our processing core is 2, so we only have uh, the speed up up to 1.5 times of the current um, speed of the system. But if it is 4, so uh, it will be 2.01 times. So, uh, again, so Amdahl's law, by means of adding processor cores, um, it will add up uh, to the uh, improvement of the speed, but it also relies on the parallel operation. So, we, uh, as you can remember with the presentation of chapter 4, so if your parallel operation is bigger than serial operations of, in the computer system, uh, adding cores will definitely have an impact on the improvement of the system. But, for example, if your computer system has more serial operations than parallel operations, adding, uh, por proce ad adding processor cores um, will only have a very, um, a little a bit of improvement, but of course it's not, uh, it's not, it's not, it's not really noticeable compared if the operations of your computer system are all are almost in parallel operations. So I hope that um, you've learned something from this lesson. So um, by means of Amdahl's law, again you can compute at least uh, how. 
the maximum um, improvement of the system depending upon uh, how many processing cores you're going to add and of course the situation of the computer system in which the ratio of parallel or serial operations such as parallel should ha parallel operations should be greater than the number in terms of the serial operations so if you do have any questions so please feel free to comment below and please do not forget my youtube channel and subscribe to it so again thank you very much good day and stay safe